Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today we will discuss image appearances of liver. The first two images are normal appearances of the liver. This is the left lobe in sagittal view and this is the right lobe. Right here is the kidney and the liver is having smooth echo texture. In transverse view of the liver, we can see the blood vessels. The portal vein will have hyperechoic walls. And right here is the inferior vena cava in cross section. And over here, these are the hepatic veins. They will not have hyperechoic walls. Here we have the caudate lobe in sagittal view. It should measure 35 millimeters in AP diameter. And this line here is the ligamentum venosum. And over here is the hypertrophy of caudate lobe. You can see it is enlarged. It, it occurs in conditions such as liver cirrhosis. A simple hepatic cyst will be round, anechoic, and have posterior acoustic enhancement. This cyst is present in the left lobe, and this is a sagittal view. Here is a transverse view of a simple hepatic cyst in the right lobe of the liver. A hydrated cyst will have septations. These are these walls are septations and they can have echogenic material as well and they can also have daughter cysts which means that there could be a cyst such as this one this cyst within this hydrated cyst a calcified hydrated cyst will have hyperechoic calcified rim and this will lead to posterior shadowing and internal septations may also be noticed an abscess can have variable appearances mostly it is hypoechoic but depending on its density it can be hyperechoic and also it is heterogeneous but the main feature is that it will have no flow on Doppler which can distinguish it from other masses. An abscess in the right lobe of liver. This is the transverse view. It is mostly hypoechoic and has heterogeneous areas as well. And when we apply Doppler, it will not have any flow. Hemangiomas are benign liver masses. They are mostly hyperechoic, well defined, and they can be more than one. And they will not have any posterior shadowing. Here you can see one mass here and another mass over here. Here is a sagittal view of the liver showing a hemangioma right here. And when we apply Doppler, it will not have any central flow. Focal nodular hyperplasia is another benign lesion of the liver. This can have variable appearance. It can be isoechoic. It may also be hypoechoic. It has a main feature on Doppler. And that is the spoke wheel appearance. When we apply Doppler, we will have this type of flow which resembles a spoke wheel. And this is a feature of focal nodular hyperplasia. A hepatic adenoma is a solitary well-defined mass. It has variable appearance, but mostly it is hypoechoic. But we cannot confirm these lesions on ultrasound. We need to perform a CT scan. A hepatocellular carcinoma is a malignant lesion of the liver. It has a hypoechoic appearance 
and larger masses may have a heterogeneous appearance but we need to perform a CT scan to have proper diagnosis. This mass is larger than the previous one and it has somewhat of a heterogeneous appearance. Metastases in the liver are well defined and rounded. They will have a hypoechoic halo. The outer region is hypoechoic and will have a hyperechoic center. This type of appearance is called a target sign or, or the bullseye appearance. It is very specific to metastatic lesions. This image shows multiple metastatic lesions in the liver, showing us again the target sign. Some metastatic lesions can have cystic components as well. Over here, we have the hypoechoic halo and a hyperechoic inner region, followed by a cystic area in this metastatic lesion. This image shows multiple metastatic lesions along with a fatty liver. Now we move on to fatty liver for hepatic stetosis starting with grade 1, the mildest form of fatty liver. The liver will appear hyperechoic, more hyperechoic as compared to the kidney but we can see the diaphragm normally and we can also see the hyperechoic walls of portal vein. In grade 2 stetosis, the echogenicity of the liver is increased and we cannot see the hyperechoic walls of portal vein. We cannot see that clearly but we can still see the diaphragm clearly so this is a feature of grade 2 stetosis. In grade 3 stetosis, there is no visualization of the diaphragm and overall there is poor visualization of the liver structures such as the vessels. Cirrhosis of the liver is a serious condition in which the liver will be reduced in size and will have surface nodularity which is the rough surface of the liver and it will have coarse echo texture which is also the rough echo texture of the liver and it may also have ascites which will be fluid surrounding the liver in the abdominal cavity here is another image of a cirrhotic liver showing us surface nodularity and a shrunken liver with coarse echo texture surrounded by ascitic fluid. Portal hypertension can occur due to cirrhosis. In this, the diameter of the portal vein will be more than 13 millimeters and it will have reduced flow in the intrahepatic portion of the portal vein. It can also have flow reversal on Doppler. Here you can see the blue color which is suggesting the flow is moving in this direction away from the liver. This is a flow reversal. The viral hepatitis has one classic sign known as starry sky sign. It is also known as centrilobular pattern. You can see echogenic dots in the liver, which resembles a starry sky. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.